today we assemble a that flag to offer our respects to the brave men who died this day in the service of the Lord. It is well that we pause before Lebanon's cedars to remember the men killed in their barracks that Sunday morning, not that we may rekindle our anger or perpetuate the hatred and mistrust that led to the deaths we mourn and which continue to divide mankind by chasms of mankind's own making. Rather, we pause to reflect upon the sobering knowledge that the privilege of service to a cause greater than oneself is not received without cost. The great American novelist Saul Bellow observed that the brave man will try to make the evil stop with him. He will absorb the blow. Today we pause to proudly salute 241 brave men who went to the shores of Lebanon and absorbed the blow for the cause of a just peace. It is a cause that is worthy of our best service and it is worth the sacrifices that we have and ultimately may be asked to make. Ship's company, ride, hey! Hand, salute! serve upon a ship named for a brave man murdered upon the not too distant shores off which we sail. That crime, two decades past, is cowardly and without excuse. However, we do not come to these waters with revenge on our minds or to perpetuate the killing of good and decent men and women. We serve, as he did, the cause of a more just and peaceful future around the globe and our service to that cause in this corner of the globe is coincidental. We take the opportunity afforded by that coincidence to honor the memory of Colonel Rich Higgins. We cannot change the events of the past, but we can draw from the past the most noble, courageous, and selfless standards set by such men as Colonel Higgins. We can and we do resolve to bear those standards forward in our service to our nation which he devoted his life. Ship's company, 